Your power tool uses a basic push-button switch that breaks the circuit on both the hot and neutral wires. After thousands of cycles and years of use, the switch will wear out. Testing for a bad switch can be easily done using a multimeter. Replacing the on-off switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover from the tool. With the cover removed, now remove the cord clamp. I'll pull the cord away from the housing so the wires are loose, only attached to the switch. Now remove the motor wires from the switch. Now I'll pull the switch actuator away from the switch. I'll use a small screwdriver to depress the switch so I can pull the actuator away from it. The switch is secured to the housing with two plastic tabs. Again, I'll use my small screwdriver to pull those away from the switch and some pliers to help me pull the switch away from the housing. Now I'll push the switch out of the housing. I'll tip the switch away from the housing so I have access to the screws that secure the cord wires. And I'll remove those screws. And now I'll install the new switch. I'll loosen the screws. I'll install the black wire. And then the white. Now I'll slide the switch back into the housing, reconnect the motor wires, and tuck all the wires back into place. Also, I'll put the switch actuator back over the top of the switch. Again, I'll depress the switch, place the actuator, and I'll test it. Next, I'll reinstall the cord clamp. and I'll reinstall the housing. And that's all it takes to install a new switch in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.